Uh, how'd you feel? Uh, I felt good. You know, the biggest thing um, going into the game was about doing our job. Coach Saban, Coach Reese harped on that all week was about doing our job. Um, and any opportunity that we had, maximized it. So that was the biggest focus point going into the week, which is focusing on maximizing each drive that we had. Were you trying to get Burton involved early to get him back in the flow? Uh, it was more game planning than it was, you know, personnel. It was just, you know, just figuring out, hey, well, how we can stack, stack these drives and uh, keep leading our office um, in a positive direction. But does that put you all in a pretty good move in the first play of the game, pick and six, and try to get you going? Well, you know, no, no matter what part of the game it is, whether it's a kick return to the house, whether it's a running running play, you know, it's just positive downs. You know, that's what we want as an offense, um, and that's what we harp on in, in the locker room, just creating positive um, plays for all of us so we can lead in the right direction. A lot of people got their first touchdown today. Robbie was one, Malik was one. Those are kind of two unsung guys. How good was it to kind of be a part of that for them and get them their first touchdown? Oh yeah, that's that's all. You know, you come to college football, want to make explosive plays, want to make plays. So to see those guys have the opportunity to make plays, man, that's just a it's a great opportunity and it's a great feeling. When it's a non-conference opponent like this, how do you gauge your personal improvement and then team improvement in this kind of game? Yeah, no matter who we're, who the opponent is, it's all about doing your job and going one and zero. Um, and I think the, the guys in the locker room do a great job of doing that um, because the biggest thing we have to do is surrender the outcome, but also focus on the task at hand. And I thought that our preparation throughout the week was really good this week, and we have to keep doing that moving forward. Coach Haven talked about one of the special things about Alabama is that the older guys bring the younger guys in. Who were some of these guys that were recognized today for senior day that kind of helped bring you in, and how have you seen leadership from these seniors overall this year? Yeah, I can't say one guy specifically. I can say that the collective whole, all the seniors did a great job, and juniors as well. Like the upperclassmen did a really good job leading the guys. Um, Coach Saban talks about player-led team. You know, that's some things that we have in the locker room. I think that's allowing us to grow as a team. Um, so we're constantly growing. We're constantly um, having leaders step up, and that's, that's key for us. How big was it? You, you got off the pass chart and didn't line up. I mean, you, I imagine even Coach Saban was pretty happy after. Yeah, um, biggest thing is can't keep take your foot off the gas. You got to keep going, um, and I think the the uh, feedback on the sideline is really good. Offense, defense, um, everyone, everyone was clicking, everyone was communicating, and that allowed us to keep stacking good plays. And this will be your first Iron Bowl as a starter. I know you watched what Bryce went through a couple years ago. It was a classic game. Are you going to you know counsel with him this week and talk about that environment and how he handled it? Well, the biggest thing first, I got to fix some things I need to uh, fix from this game and. Uh, heal up. We gotta gotta get get with the coaching staff. Figure out something we need to improve on as an offense, um, and improve. Because at the end of the day, we're not a finished product. Um, and biggest thing is, you know, we're gonna have this 24-hour rule, and you can't take um, take any win for granted. So we're gonna appreciate this win um, and uh, focus on getting better. Ty Simpson came in in the third quarter. What do you have to say about how he played today? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm happy for Ty to go in there. And maximize his opportunity and have fun out there. Um, that was that was huge. That was huge. And then also the other guys that was able to get in the game. So I think that was a really good moment um, for guys to have the opportunity to play football and uh, you know have another opportunity. Did he get chewed out by Nick Saban after that big run with the the, the fumble before the end zone? And... I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> in a situation like that, do you give a guy a hard time or do you pick him up or what, what, what do you kind Forget of get about that? Y'all see how fast he was running. That's right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> he was moving. <laughs> Yeah. Another guy who was moving today, uh, explosive play, was Caleb Downs. What did you yeah. think about uh, his punt return? Man, <laughs> he can make plays. Uh, I, was, I was watching it in slow motion. And I was like, oh, man, this man about to house this thing. And that's exactly what he did. But no, nah, he's, he's really talented, really good safety for us. And I'm just proud of his development and who he is. Anything else? When it's Auburn, isn't it really like a 12-hour rule? Is it always 24-hour rule? No, nah, it's a 24-hour rule. It don't matter what game it is, it's a 24-hour rule. We're going to appreciate this Chattanooga win, and then we're going to focus on Auburn. All right, thanks, so.